So my name is Shiro Wawero Waidaka. I'm here courtesy of the Ministry of Environment, Government of Kenya, as an SME they're supporting in the circular economy solutions. So we do know we have a lot of e-waste, motherboards, circuit boards, name it, it's dumped. When it goes to the environment, of course it's hazardous. We have a lot of pallets, we're a net importer, we have pallets. So we then harvest the pallets. So these are stools, as you can see, made from the same material that the tables are made from. And then we just add color for decor. There's a lot of um, mitumba. We know there's mitumba, which is killing second-hand second -hand clothes. Yes. It's killing our textile industry. That's a fact. But we're not growing cotton, so sometimes it becomes a challenge. So what we do, we go into the second-hand clothes market. We buy bales of clothes. We cut them up and make upholstery for our furniture. So if we look at this sofa, this two-seater sofa, it's made out of recycled waste clothes and fabric that we go and buy from the second-hand market, cut it up and repurpose it, and turn it into upholstery for our furniture. Circular economy, our solution to the waste, and how we use waste to create product. So all this is waste wood from pallets. This is all we strip people's computers from their offices, their homes, they bring it to us, and we turn it into a functional product. Working with young people is so important. Number one, they are the bigger part of the population. We know there's a conversation around unemployment. We talk about this all the time. But what actions are we actually doing? If we can get a whole supply chain of those who collect the waste, those who then put it together, those who then sell, we've created jobs. It doesn't have to be that complicated. And this doesn't need somebody to have gone to any degree school. It's been fantastic. I've been here since Saturday setting up and even while setting up, the questions, the interest, it's really, really good exposure for us. Right now we're suffering from something Wangari Madai, the late Wangari Madai told us for years, stop cutting trees, plant more trees. So now for myself as a furniture maker, we're suffering because there's no more timber. It's a problem. E-waste, wood waste, that becomes a table. It could be a coffee table, it could be a boardroom table, it could be anything. But it's furniture, it's decor, it's art, and we're saving the environment from itself. So this painting is by a lovely gentleman called Steve, whom I met. So he comes from a particular area called Babadogo in Nairobi, which is near the Korogosho slums as well. Humble, humble young boy, but amazing talent. You're choking us with your waste that comes to us, goes into the rivers, and we need to talk about this. One of the pieces we got, he actually gave it to the president of Columbia University. It is now in New York. I think it's a humanity problem. It's not Western or developing country. It's, it's waste is waste, whether you're in a developed part of the world or not.